Hi guys, it's Mrs. G and I'm going to be your third teacher today. I'm going to take you on a short tour of chromosome mutations and how to do them. So in this first picture, you can see a normal chromosome with six genes. Each of those genes is a different color. And the first gene is gene A. It is blue. The second is gene B. Then gene C, D, E, and F in order. Um, as we go through the video today, we are going to be changing up the order of these chromosomes to help us demonstrate how different chromosome mutations occur. So now what do you do? You're going to go ahead and you're going to get six colors of Play-Doh. And with those six colors, you're going to make six genes. You're going to create this picture on your own with your own artistry. Um, and then you will pause this video to do that. And when you're done, you will go on to the next segment. So in total today, you will be making seven of these different pictures with different chromosome uh, mutations. So get your little Play-Doh fingers ready and get a piece of chalk and we'll get started. The first mutation we'll cover today is a duplication. As you can see from the picture, I have duplicated the D gene. So I have two copies of the D gene. Basically what happens here is that one of the genes accidentally gets copied. So now you're going to have an opportunity to do it yourself. I want you to Take your Play-Doh and make an extra copy of your D gene, and then you're going to shift E and F over to the right and place D next to the original D gene. So you will have two Ds right next to each other. Once you've done that, you can take a picture, and once you've taken your picture, you will continue on to the next part of this video. The second type of chromosome mutation is a deletion. As it sounds, you're going to delete a gene. So in this picture, my D gene got deleted. So everything shifted over to the left. I now only have A, B, C, E, and F. And then I made sure and um, put the D gene off to the side to show you that it didn't simply disappear. It's now hanging out loose in the, nu in the nucleus. Um, it might end up somewhere else attached to a different chromosome. So now you need to go ahead and create a deletion with your Play-Doh by simply taking out um, the D chromosomes that you had put in there for the last portion, shifting everything over, and taking another picture. In the last segment, I talked about how when you have a deletion, a piece of a chromosome gets deleted and ends up loose in the nucleus. So in this example, we have an insertion. We are inserting a random gene from somewhere else into the middle of our chromosome. In this case, I created a new gene, gene L, and I gave it a nice little different color, and I inserted it right next to my favorite little letter D. So you're going to now make an insertion by creating a new gene and putting it right in the middle. And of course, don't forget to take your picture when you're finished. In this one, the word inversion 
is going to confuse you because it sounds a lot like the word insertion, but it's something completely different. Um, in an inversion, you simply have two parts of the chromosome switching. So our normal order was A, B, C, D, E, F. So what happened here is B, C, and D switched with E and F. So they basically like turned over. Um, if I could get a laser pointer here, I'll show you that um, B, C, and D were right here, and they came to this side. E and F were on this side, and they came over to this side. So please go ahead and now make an inversion and take your picture. All right, this picture is an introduction to the last type of mutation. Here you have two different chromosomes. They are not homologous because they do not have the same information on them. On the first chromosome, I have my familiar genes of A, B, C, D, E, F. On the second chromosome, I have new genes. These are L, M, N, O, P, Q. So they have the same number of genes, but those genes code for entirely different traits. Um, so this one is normal. You're going to create this picture and take a picture of your own, and then you'll go on to the next part. You have finally made it to the last part of this project. You have the translocation. That word translocation, you know location means where something is. And so when you add a translocation, it means that you have changed something's location. So here in the top one, I have A, B, C, O, P, Q. Because D, E, and F became connected to the L, M, N gene. And O, P, Q came up here. So all that really happened was that um, D, E, F came down, OPQ went up. So they just switched spots. They changed locations, a translocation. Please make this and take your picture. So what are you gonna do with all these pictures? Well, of course, you're gonna post them to Seesaw so that you will have them as notes on your Seesaw when you go to study later. So, post pics to Seesaw.